Hello everybody, uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. I want to tell you how I'm able to um, preach the gospel uh, while I'm riding in a crowded elevator. Uh, if I know I'm going to get on an elevator, uh, I, I always get my cell phone and I call a friend, let's say I'm calling my, my friend Willie, and I get on the phone, I call him up, and as I'm getting the elevator, I start my conversation with Willie. Now, the conversation is not really for Willie. Uh, the conversation is so that the people in the elevator can overhear this message. So the conversation would go something like this. I'm getting on the elevator saying, Willie, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's Luke. Yeah, well, I'm just, you know, we need to follow up on that conversation we're having. I, now, I know that you think that you can go to heaven if you're just a good enough person. And I, Willie, look, I've known you for a long time, and uh, I believe that based upon comparing you to other people, I, I think you're a very good person. But you've got to understand that nobody gets to go to heaven because they're good enough. See, if people could go to heaven because, uh, you know, they're, they're a good enough person, then there was no reason for Jesus to come and die for our sins. So the Bible says that no one goes to heaven based upon their own merit. We have, to, we have to understand that that's impossible. Do you understand that, Willie? Willie, you can't, doesn't matter. You could join all the religions of the world, Willie. You could be the most religious person. You could give all your money to charity, and you're still not going to go to heaven because of how good you are. So forget that. That's, that's a, that, that plan will not work. The Bible says there's only one way. Willie, Willie, the Bible says there's only one way you can go to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Well, so, Willie, do you, do you want to go to heaven? Do you? Then Jesus said, he's the way, the only way. You've got to put your faith in Jesus, Willie, completely. Don't put your faith in, Willie, you can't put your faith in yourself. You, you've got to reject that. Uh, you, you can't go to heaven because of all the good things you do. You can't go to heaven because of all the religious things you do. There's only one way. Jesus is the only way, Willie. Willie. Sin. Uh, look, obviously, uh, I know that uh, you, you know you're not a you're not a drug dealer and you don't you don't go to prison or anything. So you're pretty darn good, but. Sin is not the issue, Willie. Jesus paid for all of our sins. See, if the sins of the whole world were charged to Jesus when he was on the cross, Willie. Willie, the, now, now you have access to God. Uh, you can come to Jesus Christ for salvation because he paid for your sins. And he, he raised himself from the dead to prove that he's God and he can give us eternal life. Willie, I'm not asking you to join a religion or become a religious person uh, or follow some set of religious rules. Willie, I'm asking you to do one thing. Trust a person. The per J Jesus Christ is the one you need to trust. Put your faith in Jesus, not yourself, Willie. Okay, Willie, Okay, I'm getting off the elevator right now. But do you understand that now? You cannot go to heaven by, based on your personal merit. You need to put your faith in the Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay, Willie. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Uh, this is my friend Willie. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I get off the elevator. Now, Willie already knew the gospel. Willie's already saved. But it doesn't hurt to have that conversation with Willie whenever I get on a, <laughs> an elevator. Because the people on the elevator get to hear this message. And most of the people on the elevator, they have no idea what biblical Christianity is. They, they think that Christianity is, uh, is becoming a religious person. But now the people on the elevator at least know the truth, that religion doesn't save them. The Savior saves them. Save them. They need to put their faith in Jesus Christ. Nothing else will do. So next time you're on, a, on the elevator or you know you're going to get on an elevator ride, it's a good time to get on a cell phone, call someone up, and start telling them about Jesus on the phone so that the, everybody else on the elevator can hear this good news.
Try it and tell me how it works. Bless you. In the name of our great Savior God, his name is Jesus Christ.